The resource of the core tiering time is a limited resource, and the only way you solve that is by having more of the core process done in writing, and only the bits that need to be dealt with orally being dealt with orally. And clearly, if that process is to be open, then the documents have to be made available. Most of the interesting documents in most court cases are not the pleadings or even the affidavits, but the exhibits. The exhibits are not part of the court file. The exhibits are kept by the parties. That they, they never come within the ownership of the court service. Now, maybe they should, but if they are to, then that's a resources issue again. Who owns the exhibits? The exhibits are owned by the parties. Uh, judges normally nowadays only get copies of them. People rarely look for the original exhibit unless there's some real issue about its authenticity. And therefore, exactly what is it that's before the court? For example, again, it's, it, the law is that the fact that documents are discovered does not make them evidence. Therefore, should they be disclosed? Arguably not, unless they are deployed in the court case. But there's even then often gray areas about what has actually been deployed. If the judge gets 10 lever arch files to read in advance, have they been deployed? Uh, are they really deployed? Is there too much information in there that's not relevant? And it might well require a greater degree of redaction than is currently the case. For example, in many commercial cases, it involves not only the interests of the parties, but there may be documents that reveal commercial activity by third parties which are relevant to the case, but if the documents are going to be kept within a small group, there's no need to redact them. But if they are going to be made public, there might be a very large need to redact them, and that in itself becomes a cost sector. Um, there can be problems where the only record is hard copy. Uh, this is a matter of public record because it was the subject of a judgment of the Supreme Court within the last two weeks. But we have had at least one and perhaps more than one case where there is now a question over the integrity of the court file because of access being given to individuals with the court file and an allegation being made that someone has doctored the court file while having access to it. Um, if we have a secure IT system, that wouldn't be a problem. But you know, what do you do with the hard copy files? Are you going to give them out to people? If you give them out to people, can you be sure they'll come back? Uh, at the moment, there's only access to the parties, and yet we have an accusation of that type. Uh, and the fact that we can't necessarily stand over what's on the court file is in itself a big danger. So you, know, you need to have ways and means of ensuring that the integrity of the court file is kept. So, I'm absolutely in favour of the process, but I think there's an awful lot of work that needs to be done before we could have an effective system that would allow online ready access to everything in the courts. And my own view is the best way to go about it is, to borrow a phrase I used about the television um, production, baby steps. Start with things that can be done read, read, readily, easily, without too much difficulty, and build on that. Things to attempt one big bang will be likely to result in the normal consequences of the Big Bang, which is a disaster.